Bill here with another throwback guys and today we are talking about the arcade fighting games like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter and more. These were only released in arcades but I will be talking about the one certain one from each series. I hope it's good so let's get to it. Fight! Hadouken! Hadik Boom! Hadouken! 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 Hadik Boom! Killer Instinct was developed by Rare and released in the arcade in 1994. Later, it was released on the Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Nintendo 64, and Xbox One. The game borrows attack sets from Street Fighter and it's inspired by the finishing moves in Mortal Kombat. It's still a good game though. There were over 20 characters in the game and each character has specific controls to do moves, but most people just button mash. I rate the SNES version of this game a 7 out of 10. The sound and graphics are good, but the controls seem to be odd for me, and I find the game quite hard. Tekken 3 was developed by Namco and released in the arcade in 1997. It was later released on the PlayStation a year later. This game is considered one of the best fighting games of all time. It sold over 8 million units worldwide, and it's the 5th best selling game on the PlayStation. Thank god I have it because it is one fun game, especially playing with friends. There are again over 15 characters in the game and this game is just so much more friendlier. The characters are awesome, the graphics are clean and just a great game. I rate this game an 8 out of 10. The only complaints that I have with this game is that the gameplay seems slow and you can't use the analog sticks to fight, which is more effective than the d-pad. Mortal Kombat Deception was developed by Midway Games and released around 2004 on the PS2 and the original Xbox. The first Mortal Kombat was released in the arcade in 1992. Deception was the 6th installment in the Mortal Kombat series. Crazy of how many games there were. There were 28 characters, 9 new characters, and 19 returning. The game also introduced new game modes, chess combat and puzzle combat, which is really weird since it's supposed to just be a fighting game, but I guess it's okay. There was also other small things like exploring the place, and you can also unlock items, but you need an Xbox account, and the profile thing is not supported anymore. Anyways, the graphics, controls, and the characters are pretty awesome. Honestly, when I was playing this game for the Throwback Thursday, I got hyped and forgot how fun it actually was. I give this game an 8 out of 10. By the way, there are fatalities in this game which I actually forgot about. Super Street Fighter 4 was developed by Capcom and released April of 2010, but the original Street Fighter Arcade was released August of 1987. Street Fighter is one of the most popular series around. It's been released on so many consoles and has many sequels. A newer one called Street Fighter 5 was released recently on the PS4 and Xbox One, but I will be talking about the series in general. The characters in the series are so known and easy to remember, from Ryu's Hadouken to Guile's Sonic Boom. There are around 25 characters in the whole Street Fighter series. The moves in the series are easier than other fighting games because some of them are the same for each character. Super Street Fighter 4 is done perfectly. The graphics are improved from the previous games, the music sounds awesome, and the controls are perfect. I recommend this game 100% and rate the series a 10 out of 10. Soul Calibur 2 was developed by Project Soul and released in the arcade in 2002. It was later ported to the Xbox. PS2, and GameCube. Soul Calibur is not near as popular as other arcade fighting games, but it's still a good game. There are also 25 characters to fight with in the game. The game is actually really good. I love the intro when the guy says, Soul Calibur 2, and also when the intros to when the characters fight. During gameplay, there was a lot of movement between the two characters, and the cool thing is when the characters move side to side, it's like a 3D type thing. Everything is good like the graphics, controls, and the music is awesome. I give this game a rating of a 9 out of 10. Well, that's it. There was way more fighting games like arcade style out there, but I only talked about the most popular ones and the games that I had since I recorded most gameplay from this video. I hope you enjoyed this week's Throwback Thursday. Building out. If you like that video, click here to watch more. If you want to subscribe, which we know you do, you gotta click this guy right here. As always, like, like and comment, comment below. below the video, because we finally got it. High five! Yeah.